So last week we went over virtual desktop and getting that set up so that you can stream your PC VR games to Twitch or YouTube or whatever platform you're streaming on. And I mentioned that once Airlink comes out, it's going to do something very similar, but it's going to be all native with an Oculus. Well, these last couple days, I got version 28 on both my desktop and headset. So I'm going to show you how to set up Airlink. Hey, what's up, everybody? Dimitri of Cadet Gaming here. And today we're going to go over how to set up Airlink to stream your PC VR games from your computer to whichever streaming platform you choose. As I mentioned, it's going to be very similar to the virtual desktop video that we had last week, um, but there are going to be a few differences. And I'm going to show you the kind of things that I had to figure out to get certain audio um, aspects working the same way that they do for virtual desktop so that your microphone from the headset is being um, communicated to your computer so that you can capture that again on your uh, stream and allowing all of the audio from your desktop to be streamed to your headset so that you can hear um, everything that's going on, including your alerts and so on and so forth, Discord, all that stuff. If you end up finding anything in this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you like and subscribe. It really helps me out. By the time this video comes out, I may be at a thousand views. I may not be. But either way, I just wanted to thank all of you guys for watching my videos and being part of this community. I really appreciate it and I'm happy that you guys are on this adventure with me because I've been having a really great time these past 12 months. And uh, without further ado, let's just hop right into it. So first things first, you're going to want to make sure that your headset and your PC Oculus software is updated to version 28. So they're doing a really slow and gradual rollout. Some people are getting it before others. I didn't get mine for quite a while and then I noticed um, yesterday that I had the update. So I started tinkering around with it. So make sure that you check um, in your Oculus headset. Very easy to get to. Um, make sure that that's set up and then also check the Oculus software on your computer. Now, if you don't have the Oculus software on your computer, you're gonna have to download that. I will leave a link in the video description below for that. Uh, get that downloaded and installed on your computer. Um, that will allow your Oculus to communicate with your computer. Normally you would have needed this if you were doing the wired um, link between the Oculus and the computer, but now we're gonna be doing this entirely wirelessly. So once you have the Oculus software installed on your computer, we're gonna have to change a few settings. So make sure that you have your Oculus headset on. Um, and in the Oculus software, we're gonna to go to settings. We're gonna to go to beta and you're gonna make sure that you turn AirLink on. Um, as it mentions, it'll automatically turn off within 24 hours of it not being used. So if you don't see the AirLink options on the headset, which I'll show you in a second, you have to make sure that you turn it on on the computer first. Now, the next thing that we gotta do is we gotta change around the audio um, and how the audio gets used between the headset and the computer um, because you want your stream to be able to hear what you're hearing. Um, and you also want to be able to hear what's going on in your computer so you can hear Discord and alerts. So you're going to go to devices. And once you have your Oculus linked up here, um, you're going to click on it and you're going to see some settings here. So I have my microphone set to use Windows settings because as mentioned in the virtual desktop video, I use voice meter. So I actually have the Oculus um, microphone coming in as a hardware input on voice meter and then I have it being sent out so that I can mix it with my other microphones and everything and I can use just my voice meter inputs on all my software so I don't have to change it around. So this is very helpful for me. But the Quest 2 for the, um, the audio out, I had to keep it on headphones. If I changed it to use Windows settings, um, I wasn't able to hear my games. Um, it was being kind of a problem. Even when I had here VR audio from computer, I just wasn't able to hear any of the settings because once you change this one, it takes away those. So um, you got to keep this on Quest 2 headphones and then you have to make sure that you turn on here VR audio from computer. The reason for that, you want your OBS to be able to capture the audio um, that you're hearing. So if you don't have that on, the computer won't actually hear what you're hearing in VR. So it won't be able to hear the game or anything. 
Um, so you're going to make sure that you have that on. But keep in mind, if you have external speakers that are always on, they're also going to play that audio. So you have to turn off the speakers to make sure that you're not playing a bunch of audio outside, being rerouted back through your microphone and getting a bunch of feedback. The next setting here, here, computer audio and VR. Very straightforward. You want to be able to make sure that you're hearing whatever's going on on your computer in your VR headset. So that includes Discord and your alerts from OBS. All right, so once you have your desktop software good to go, we're gonna make sure that AirLink is active on your headset. All you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to experimental features and you're gonna click on uh, AirLink and you're gonna make sure that that's on. Once that's on, you'll notice in the quick actions menu, you'll have an AirLink uh, button here. You can go ahead and click that and you can launch. So now you should be able to hear me through the Oculus microphones. Um, and everything is good and set up. We can go ahead and play any of our games. Um, it, it's awesome. This is a really great tool. It makes it a lot easier for people. Um, and now, you know, virtual wireless streaming of your VR is done natively. So this is great. Let's go over how to have it set up in OBS and how to make sure it's set up properly in Discord as well. So let's quickly go over Discord first. So what you wanna make sure you do is that you have your input device set to however you have the microphone set up. So for me, it's voice meter, but if you're just using the headset, it's gonna be headset microphone, Oculus virtual headset. Just like with virtual desktop, you're gonna to wanna to make sure the output device is set to default to ensure that you're able to hear everybody. I don't know why these programs kind of don't like to work with the audio out from voice meter, um, but that's how it has to work for me and this is the best solution that I have so far. So this setup is gonna be extremely similar to how it was with virtual desktop. So let's go ahead and add our game first. So it's just as you would any standard game. So I have Echo VR open and we're gonna do a specific window and let's do Echo VR. And we will make it so that it fits my screen. All right, so we have the game open. So now let's do the microphone. So we'll call this Oculus Mic. And again, you can choose the specific microphone, so the Oculus Virtual Audio Device, or you can choose the virtual one that you would use, like I would with Voice Meter, but let's just choose the Oculus one for this. So as you can see here, when I speak, the audio levels go up, so you know the microphone's working, and it's picking that up, which is fantastic. And now we're gonna choose the Oculus headset as our audio device to make sure that we're getting um, all of that audio. So let's go ahead and add that. So we'll call this, let's call this headset. And that one's going to be called headphones, virtual audio device with Oculus. Again, just same kind of idea. And now you'll see our game music is there. So everything is working perfectly. And at this point, you could technically stream this now. If you want your Discord to be heard by stream, if you want your uh, desktop to be heard by stream, um, you can add those sources yourself. You can leave it so that all of your audio is default. I don't do that. I have it so that I have to manually add my audio as sources so that I have a little bit more control between scenes. Certain scenes, I only want uh, my music to be heard, um, for example, on my starting screen and my ending screen. Um, certain screens, I don't want Discord to be heard. Um, so I have them all nicely set up so that I can, you know, flip around that way. Um, but this is the easiest way to do it. And all of the audio is perfectly set up. So your microphone is going to OBS and then your game audio from your headset is also going to OBS. And now you can stream all of it. So yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, as I mentioned, it's very similar to the way virtual desktop worked. I just had to figure out a few of the kinks with the audio. I tried doing this on stream immediately when I got the headset update. And I did have some audio issues, but I got that figured out and I started working on this video so that I could share with all of you. As I mentioned in the last video, I will be doing another video on how to stream the native Oculus Quest games that are on the headset uh, because they're not played on the PC. They're a little bit more difficult to capture. So we'll be releasing a video for that. So make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell icon if you want to be notified of when that video comes out. If you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you liked it. Uh, leave some comments below if you have any questions. 
or suggestions or feedback on this video. I'd really appreciate it. Those all help with the algorithm as, as well. And anything that helps, I really do appreciate. If you wanted to talk about something and you wanted it to be more of a discussion, Discord might be the better place for that. I will leave a link for the Discord in the description below. Feel free to join if you have any questions, comments, you want to talk with people that have similar interests. That is definitely the great place to be. As always, I stream on Twitch from Friday until Tuesday. Come check me out and say hello. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the chat and I will try to answer them as quickly as I possibly can. Thanks again for watching the end of the video. Stay safe out there and I'll see you next Friday.